Hey, good afternoon. Today is November 25th, 2018, just a few days after Thanksgiving. I have now been working on this show for uh, a little over a week, and I would say that it's been a bit stressful for me because I haven't really found my place yet, but it's starting to fall in, and that is the uh, role of honorary geologist and prospector. So I'm having fun with that. I'm learning to uh, control a uh, excavator this week so I can go out and do prospecting and I've been doing a lot of painting for gold to test uh, it's been it's been interesting and it's getting better every day today was my day off so I decided to drive out to an area called Camp Verde which is uh, be kind of between Sedona and Jerome Arizona because we're working nearby and there was a place I used to dig crystals out of the mountainside along the river back when I was 20, so 26 years ago. Since then, this entire valley has developed and it's changed so much that I can't even identify the old roads that I was uh, was driving on before. So I've been searching around and today I decided to wander in the mountains and cruise along the river. And I came across this really cool rock formation I wanted to show you. This is a classic riverside formation that you would see in Arizona. I've seen stuff like it around. And what makes it so cool is that it's a habitat for so many animals. And more than likely, it was a habitat at one point for people. I'm going to crawl through the brush. You can see the intensity of the material I have to cross through here. And one of the biggest challenges for, that's interesting, the ground's wet here. That means there's some kind of seepage, which is a uh, spring. No wonder it's a popular place for animals. Anyway, here's the formation and the rocks. So you can see there's opportunities for a lot of animals and potentially people, Native Americans in the past. And there's this great big overhang. It's super cool. And the river's nearby. I'll walk you down to the river. We're gonna go through the bushes. One of the biggest challenges walking in this area are hitchhiker plants. And those can be any type of thorn or little burrs, but it's incredible. There's a thing called cat's paw that literally feels like it reaches out and just grabs you. So I tend to get back to the car and my shoes and my pants and hair has some kind of little plant life that's jumped onto me and wants to go somewhere. This is a particularly nasty one. It looks like a nice, friendly tree. And then you look at the base of all the branches. We're going to focus on it. Where are they? Come on. If you can see that, there are thorns. And they grab you. The camera's not focusing today. Oh, well. So... I am out exploring and ran across these beautiful rock formations and the sun is in the gorgeous time of day so I can see everything very clearly. <clears throat> Let me take you down to the river just real quick and you can see what I'm seeing. Another one is beautiful places that nobody goes. There's no trails down here where I am right now. Look at this tree. Wow, wow, wow. That thing is old and it's been working a long time and real hard to stay there. Got to give it a little bit of kudos for making such an effort. Uh, anyway, I'm going to head down to the river here and see if we can find something cool. Unfortunately, the place that I used to dig crystals, I have not been able to refine it. And I'm hoping that through a little bit of exploration, I'm going to be able to find that place once again. It's amazing after all these years, including the ruins I shared last week that I hiked into, it's amazing how much things change and how much certain places things don't change. Uh, but more so, how my mind remembers things. And then when I get there, it just seems so different and I don't remember a lot of the details that I thought I did. I wonder, it's kind of like when I was a kid 
going back to my family property. When I was a kid, they said, go get the mail. It felt like it was a five mile trek to the mailbox. And I go there as an adult and I realize it's about 50 feet, maybe 100 feet. <laughs> and it's flat. Of course, it was uphill in my vision too. Anyway, we're almost to the river. Check out these rock formations I'm about to walk over. The ground's interesting here. It almost looks like kitty litter in places. <clears throat> and that is because the ants over the years have pulled out all the little rocks and spread them on the surface and you come across a giant wash of them. And it looks like somebody spilled a bag of kitty litter on the ground. Here's one right here. That is what ants do. And here is the beautiful, peaceful Verde River. I love this river. It's almost flat. It's always flowing very smooth. And you can jump in a kayak or canoe and paddle this for a long way. The beautiful reflections in the water are just perfect. There's a little bit of rapids, which is pretty rare for this river. As you can also see, there are a lot of these beautiful cliffs along this river. And underneath or down below, uh, there often you'll find a Native American ruins or dwelling that was uh, in the hillside. And also nowadays lots of trash, which is very sad to me. I absolutely love this area. It's just stunning and peaceful. So that's where I am today. Just wanted to check in and say hi and share a little bit. It's been a long week, haven't had time to really go anywhere. But pushing on and remember, it's a big, beautiful world, so go see it. Until next time, check this view out.